Similar to simple algebra confusing me, and here is the attached work. And I will tell you, I was so confused at first, because I didn't realize that they were using lowercase xyz and also uppercase xyz. So I was like, huh, how did they get that? It's like 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z is equal to 0. But anyway, though, let's go over this. First, we are given this information. We have the x over a plus y over b plus z over c is equal to 0. And then if you do the reciprocal, we have a over x plus b over y plus c over z. That will be equal to 1. Pretty cool in my opinion. And then here, we are trying to get a squared over x squared and then b squared over y squared plus z squared over z squared. So now, check this out. Both of them have squares. So we can look at this as parentheses with a over x inside and then squared. And then this right here, same thing. b over y squared, and then lastly, c over z squared. Cool. Then they decided to call this capital X, capital Y, and then capital Z. If I do that, it will be very confusing. So I'm not going to use capital A, B, C because little c and big C look pretty much the same. So let's have some challenge. Let's go ahead and use Greek letters, alpha, beta, and gamma. Now everybody looks different. Anyway, though, take a look at the first equation. Right? We can rewrite this a little bit. x over a, well, here's a over x. a over x is alpha. This is just the reciprocal of alpha. So we can look at the first part as 1 over alpha. And then do the same thing. The next term will be 1 over beta. And then lastly, 1 over gamma. That will be equal to 0. And uh, you can just kind of combine like terms a little bit, you can combine the fractions. So you end up with alpha, beta, and gamma on the bottom. For this right here, I need to multiply beta and gamma. So let's go ahead and do beta and gamma. So we have beta and gamma here. Here we have beta already. We need alpha and gamma. So this right here, we need alpha and gamma. So plus alpha and gamma. And lastly, we need the alpha and beta alpha and beta, so alpha and beta, and that's equal to zero. Here we have a fraction, and it's equal to zero. The only way for this to happen is the numerator is equal to zero, so we must have, let's write this down first, yeah? So we have alpha, beta, plus alpha, gamma, and then plus beta, gamma, equals zero. So that's one of the questions. Yeah, they use capital X, Y, and Z for that. But anyway, no. uh, yeah, anyway. So that's that. Now, let's take a look at this equation. Well, here is just alpha, right? We have alpha and then plus, that is beta. And then that, is <laughs> they both like look like fish to me. That looks like beta. Well, that looks, that is beta. And then lastly, we have gamma. And this is like fish that's swimming downward. Anyway, though, now it's equal to 1. So we have this and that. And we're trying to produce this. Right? Alpha squared plus beta squared and then gamma squared. Hmm. So what can we do? Well, have a look right here. Let's go ahead and square both sides. How is that? Why? Because this way we can produce the alpha squared and all that stuff. But we do have more things that's happening though. So let's pay close attention to here. So, in case if you haven't seen like the formula for this, I will just show you how we multiply this out. You can do it with the tic-tac-toe box like this. And then you just put alpha, beta, gamma, and then alpha, beta, and gamma. So for this box, it's just alpha times alpha, so alpha squared. And this right here is alpha, beta, and then alpha, gamma. And then you just continue here and here with alpha, beta, and then beta, beta which is beta squared, and then beta gamma. And then just continue. Alpha gamma, and then beta gamma, and then gamma 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 squared. So as you can see, we end up with alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. So this right here, we have alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared, and that's exactly what we're trying to get. But we do have the other parts. This right here, we have two of them, so we will have to add two alpha beta 
But notice here we also have two of the alpha gamma. Likewise, we also have two of the beta and gamma. So they all happen twice. So I will put down two times alpha beta. I'll put this down in blue. Alpha beta plus alpha gamma and last the beta gamma. Yeah. Oops, wrong color. Okay. Well, remember this right here is still equal to one square, which is just one. Now, do we know this? Yes, we do. That's equal to zero. So as you can see, we have alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square plus this right here is just two times this blue part is just zero and that's equal to one. Of course, two times zero doesn't matter. So we just end up with alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square is equal to one. Therefore, all this right here, the answer is equal to one. So just like that.